Miss Anna. Um, today I'm going to be reading Little P and Wake Me Up in Spring, but we'll start with Little P. This is a story of Little P, Mama P, and Papa P. Little P was a happy little guy. He liked to do lots of things. He liked rolling down hills, for example, super fast. Whoa, 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 all the way down. He liked hanging out with his pee pals. Some are swinging and some are doing hopscotch. He liked it when Papa P came home at the end of the day. Papa P would fling Little P off a spoon high into the air and Little P would scream again, again. At bedtime, Little P very much liked snuggling with Mama P and hearing stories about what Mama P was like when she was a Little P. But there was one thing that Little P did not like. Candy, that's what you have to eat for dinner every night when you're a pea. Candy, candy, candy. Ew. Monday, red candy. Tuesday, orange candy. Wednesday, yellow candy. Thursday, purple and pink polka dot candy. Friday, striped candy. Saturday, swirly candy. Sunday, rainbow candy. Little P didn't like any of it. If you want to grow up and be a big strong pea, you have to eat your candy, Papa P would say. If you don't finish your candy, then you can't have dessert, Mama P would say. How many pieces do I have to eat? Eat five pieces and you can have dessert. Five pieces, he whined. Five pieces, they chimed. One, yuck. Two, blech. Three, huh. Four, e. Five pieces of candy. Now can I have dessert? Yes, now you can have dessert, said Mama P and Papa P. Little P couldn't wait to see what it was. Spinach, squealed Little P, my favorite. Little P licked his dessert plate clean. Yum, yum, extra yum. And they lived happily ever after. This is Wake Me Up in Spring. Melk looked out from his hole and said, it's getting cold, he shivered. Bear scratched his belly and yawned. Yes, said Bear, I feel winter in my bones. Bear looked at the calendar. Time for bed, he said. I'm so tired. I will surely sleep all winter long. But Bear, Mouse cried, you'll miss winter. Bear yawned and said, I'm so sleepy, I don't care. Mouse waved his arms. You'll miss sleigh rides in the snow, said Mouse. Bear rubbed his eyes and said, I'm so sleepy, I don't care. You will miss hot chocolate and steaming cups, said Mouse. Bear pulled the curtain. I don't care, he said. You'll miss ice skates on frozen lakes, said Mouse. Bear lo locked the front door and said, I don't care. You'll miss snowmen with carrot noses, cried Mouse. Bear only sighed and said, I don't care. Mouse didn't say a word. Finally, in a sad, soft voice said, Mouse said, and I will miss you. Bear looked into Mouse's watery eyes. Bear said, Mouse, I will not miss sleigh rides in the snow, hot chocolate in steaming cups, ice skates on frozen lakes, or even snowmen with carrot noses. But I will miss you. I will miss you so very much. Bear bent down and gave his friend the kind of hug that the bears give the best. A hug that lasts all winter. My little friend, Bear explained, please understand a bear needs to sleep all winter long. Mouse sniffed and blew his nose. Honk. Bear brushed his teeth and said, Mouse, I feel winter in my bones. Please wake me up in the spring when the flowers bloom and the birds sing. 
Mouse tucked Bear into bed and whispered, Good night, Bear. Sleep tight. I'll see you in spring when the flowers bloom. And best friends,